Oh, folks, consider where you stand tonight before a holy God. Do you know where you stand tonight before Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ can save you if you repent and turn to Him tonight for salvation, folks. That's good news for the lost and perishing. Again, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The Bible says, for there's no other way, no other name under heaven by which man can be saved. Where do you stand tonight, folks, before Jesus Christ? Are you innocent or guilty? Folks, if you've ever violated any of the Ten Commandments of God, then you are guilty before a holy God. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Bible says, For all have sinned, and fall short of the glory of God. Not one of us is good, folks. There in Romans chapter 3, God says, For there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who does good. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is no one who does good. There is not even one. The Lord Jesus Christ said, He said, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel, folks. The Lord said in Acts chapter 2 to repent and be saved from this perverse generation. A generation so perverse that we murder thousands of babies every day. A generation so perverse that people don't even know what gender they are anymore. Please note tonight, folks, only the blood of Jesus Christ shed at Calvary's cross can wash away your sins. Nothing else, no one else. Again, the Bible says, for there's no other way, no other name under heaven by which man can be saved. Folks, the Bible says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord and he will have compassion on him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You see, God, he is abundant to pardon people. The Bible says in Psalm 130, O Lord, if you should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be feared. For with the Lord there is loving kindness, and with Him is abundant redemption. <laughs> Such good news tonight, folks. There is abundant redemption with the Lord. If you would repent and humble yourself. For the Bible says that God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Such proud people in America, there are people who refuse to repent. They want to go their own way. But again, folks, the Bible says, for there is a way that seems right to a man but in the end, it leads to death. That is the way that most people are living, a way that seems right to them. It feels right. Their heart tells them it's right. But in the end, it leads to death. So many people follow their own heart rather than the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that the heart is deceitful and desperately sick. Who can know it? Who can know it? Folks, tonight, please consider where you stand before the one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you were to die tonight, would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? And how do you know? How do you know? The most loving thing for a Christian to do for you is to warn you about hell. 
The Bible says that hell is a place where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the worm does not die, where the fire is not quenched. Is this where eternal life? Abolitionist. Okay. That's pathetic. What's that? That's pathetic. What was pathetic? Oh, yeah, that's I was pathetic, but then God saved me. No, God saved you're me from still what? pathetic. From sin, my sin. God can't save you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he saved me and yeah. brought me out here to give people the gospel. Yeah. He brought you out here to waste your time. Yeah. No, this is a waste of time. Yeah. Worshiping the chiefs. He brought you out here to like just, just like ruin everyone's fun and like just trying well, to, to warn. You're, you're bringing, you're bringing problems that don't even have anything to do with a game. What does, what does oh, yeah. the pro have, pro life have to do with a game? What is, tell me. Okay, well, I'm actually abolitionist. I'm not a pro-lifer. I, I oppose murdering children. I oppose murdering anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian. Yeah, so he's a, a fetus is not a child. A fetus is a clump of cells. I don't know if you knew that. Um, You're a clump of cells, ma'am. Yeah. You're a clump of cells. A grown-up clump of cells. Uh, I'm not human. We're here. Yeah, yeah. we're here. You, you realize yeah. how I'm alive and I can talk to you? They yeah. can't talk to you because it, it's not a Not when they're being murdered. <laughs> not when you rip their head off when you cut when you cut, crush them. Okay, the so uh, I am a Oh, God. oh my god, you know, I had an abortion before, before actually. That's actually really funny. And you're smiling about it. Oh, yeah. Why are you yeah, smiling about, about the fact? Exactly. And I have the most blessed life. I have the most amazing group of friends. My friends are waiting in there for me. You're sitting Do they know you murdered your baby? Huh? Yeah. yeah, the fuck yeah. they do. And yeah. the baby dad is inside. <laughs> the baby dad is inside and I have ordered it. That's just me. I'm sorry that you murdered your baby, ma'am. But huh? Jesus Christ can save you and forgive you if you repent. Oh, I am Catholic. I love yeah. God, but I... What God do you love? And I, and I had an abortion. You didn't love your... I love God, and God still loves me because I have the most no. amazing life and the most amazing friends and the most amazing boyfriend. I would and rather blood. murder a baby. Oh, God. Look at me. Enjoy my life. My time. Hey, I'll, I'll that you you sacrificed your baby for your convenience so I you can enjoy exactly, your life. Exactly. I'll sacrifice. I was, I was born on this planet, too. I'm just hey, saying. Yeah, I had my baby. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here because people hate God then they love death. They love well, murder. Anything, that, you're standing here, but I would still rather murder a baby. Why would you rather murder a baby? Because I can't. Well, you can, but should, why, would you, why would you do... Why not go home and have fun and watch the game and... I can't have fun when people are dying and going to hell and murdering their children, murdering my okay, neighbors okay, in the well, womb. Jesus Christ is king. He can save you. There you go. Or not a victim. Oh, folks. I'm seeing the Bible lived out before my very eyes here tonight. Yes, I know the Bible is true because I'm seeing it lived out here tonight. The Bible says, 2 Timothy chapter 3, God says that in the last days, the last days, difficult times will come for men will be lovers of self lovers of money boastful arrogant revilers disobedient to parents ungrateful unholy unloving haters of good brutal arrogant without self-control lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God and that's so many people here tonight they don't love God, they love pleasure though. The Bible says that he who loves pleasure will become a poor man. The Bible says that the mind of the fool is in the house of pleasure. Tonight people are not worshiping Jesus Christ, they're worshiping themselves. They're worshiping the chiefs, they're worshiping pleasure, whatever feels good. Just, just as the, the Satanist Aleister Crowley said, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing in America today. The Bible says in the book of Judges, in those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. That's what we're doing, folks, in America, in this guilty land, in this bloody city. We're doing what's right in our own eyes. We have rejected. The Lord Jesus Christ, who is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, to go after so many false gods. 
And the Bible says that there is no peace for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. But the wicked can have peace if they would turn from their sins, humble themselves, and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ alone for salvation. There is, for there is no other name, no other way under heaven for which man can be saved.